happy, happy Tuesday. It is the 20th of December. Christmas Eve is in four days. And then what do you call it, Becca? Christmas Adam. Christmas Adam. That's when our Christmas event is. Christmas Ooh. Adam is the screen you guys just saw before you saw me. And that is our Christmas event happening this Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern. If you haven't already, just kind of carve some time out of your day for that. Definitely do it. We're going to have some crafts, some recipes, probably some giveaways, some games. It's going to be really fun. So definitely tune into that if you have not planned on it already. Also, if you're brand new here to Oakenland, first of all, welcome. My name is Rachel Langston. The voice that you also hear is Miss Becca Oaks, and we are both owners and craft educators here at Oakenland. And we like to teach on a multitude of different things, from cricket to sublimation to glow forge, so laser cutting, um, woodworking, sewing, all kinds of things we love to teach on. Or, or other times, crafts. Totally random crafts like today. See, there's no cricket here. We're not using a glow forge. We're using our hands and some paint pens to create some really cute salt dough ornaments. I'm particularly excited about this. In fact, plan to go home and make this with my kids too. There, it's, as we would say, stupid easy. And so darn cute. So cute, so easy. I did it last night with Charlie and baked them, so I brought those here today. Unfortunately, he's not here today. He's at home. But instead of using your, ho your home, your oven at home, if you have one of these bad boys, you can use this as well. If you're worried about like, you know, heating your oven for that long, some people don't like to do that, you know. So uh, there are different ways that you can bake these. The instructions on how to make them and bake them are incredibly easy. So you can do this a multitude of different ways. We're gonna be using our PYD Life sublimation oven today. Um, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be phenomenal. I've never used this, Becca has, so she might need to help me troubleshoot some things on it. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory how to use that. I have all the supplies linked down below. Uh, you're going to need things in your kitchen you most likely already have. I don't think you'll have to go shopping for this at all. Yeah, no, I, I mean, don't think so either. Everybody's got this stuff. Everybody. Um, and we get the cheap stuff. If you don't have it and you need to go buy stuff, get the cheapy, cheapy, cheap stuff. You know, we have um, great value, all-purpose flour, and then just plain. This was 50 cents. Plain table salt. 50 cents, dollar. I think it's under two dollars. I mean, so, so easy. Rachel and I were talking about this a little bit. You can make this in as big or as small of a batch as you want. I yes. mean, it's not going to hurt it to like half it or even quarter it if yes. you only need to make a couple. Yes. If you need to make several, make a couple of batches. But Rachel, tell them how many. Uh, are you doing the full batch, the four cups? I am. Yeah. Yes. Um, tell um, them how many you think they could get out of it with small baby hands. A ton. I'm going to say. I'm going to say twenty. I yeah. bet you could get 20 hands and mixed together, like hands and feet in there. Now, again, this is for a nine-month-old baby. I mean, he's little. Yeah. But um, the really cool thing about this, though, in my opinion, like if you didn't want to do handprints or footprints, you could do cookie cutters and yes. do fun little shapes and let the kids still paint them. Absolutely. Um, And the other really cool thing I was asking Rachel, because I haven't made it yet, I, like all the knowledge is just um, from her or what I assume, Um, you don't have to roll this out with, with a – a rolling pin so the kids can roll this out like it's it's so kid friendly yes and it's by the way non-toxic it's literally yeah. salt and flour now and i water. tasted it last night because science yeah all it is is extremely salty just like play-doh but if your kids accidentally grab a handful and eat it no big deal the, the biggest thing that's going to happen is they're going to have a dry mouth from all that salt yeah <laughs> but it's completely non-toxic it's safe for kids and by the way guys it smelled like baked bread in my house for really? two and a half hours from the flour and the, I was like, it smells good. Kind of like a couple years ago, Becca was making these uh, orange. The dried oranges. Dried mm -hmm. orange peels. It was starving us to death. It smelled like some kind of delicious dessert. And you had to bake those suckers for like two and a half, it was three forever. hours. Oh my gosh. So it does make your uh, house smell pretty good as well. But these are incredibly easy to make. I didn't use a rolling pin. I just used my hands. The only time I used parchment paper was to line my baking sheet. That's it because... Um, I just dumped it right on my on my surface like I'll show you guys today. But, yeah, it, I mean, it's super easy, super easy to do these. Um, these would be great, like Becca said, if you don't have, a, you know, littles to do their handprints. Use cookie cutters, like your favorite cookie cutters. Or make abstract things with a pizza roller, a pizza cutter. I mean, you yeah. know, do whatever you want to do with these. Yeah. Um, 
I know that you haven't made it and tested it, but have you read anywhere like how long this dough will is good? Like, for instance, if you make it today and I take the rest of it home to use it, yes. will it still be good? So for me, as I was making it, it was drying out pretty quick. Okay. So okay. I would add water if I was taking a while because I'll – I'll share with you guys the story in a minute of Charlie not really liking the process. But my dough was drying out pretty quick. So I would say if you keep adding water like I did, it, it would kind of fix the issue. Yeah. Um, as far as these, when they're finished, um, I read not to put them in anything like sealed so they could get moisture in there. So don't put them in like a Ziploc bag or something. Uh, I read to fold them in like a... Um, paper towel or something? Like a paper mm -hmm. towel and then bubble wrap if you wanted to and kind of let it air out. Okay. Yeah, so don't zip it in anything or put it in like a, a moist basement or something to let it kind of... Yeah. That's good info. Yeah, good info. So um, you're you're making the dough. You have the flour, the salt, the water, and you're just regular mixing stuff. And then what do we need in order to like cut and make the holes yeah. and paint and seal and all of that? So... What you'll need to put this all together is, of course, a mixing bowl. I'm just using a plastic mixing bowl I've had forever. The instructions specifically told me to use a wooden spoon. Really? I don't think it would be blasphemy if you didn't use a wooden spoon, but I am a rule follower to my core. So here is a wooden spoon. I don't know. And you're going to mix the dough just until it's incorporated, then dump it on the table and treat it kind of like a... Um, Biscuit like dough. Biscuit dough. Yeah. Kind of kneaded up a little bit. Uh, I have a couple things. This did not call for this, but um, all it literally said was to dump in the flour four cups. Again, this is a huge batch. Half this quarter, like Becca said. Four cups of all-purpose flour, bleached flour is best, which, of course, it's usually what it is with yeah. all-purpose cheap flour. So bleached flour, four cups. One full cup of plain salt, table salt, whatever kind of salt you have. Um, and then I took a whisk and whisked it together because it just said dump it all in with the water. And I'm like, well, the salt's not going to get super well incorporated. Right. So I took a wired whisk and whisked up my dry ingredients before I dumped in the water. It's a cup and a half of warm or hot water. Again, I don't know what will happen if you use cold water. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. I'm just letting you know the recipe Probably I just followed. mixes better with yeah, warm. Yeah, I'm just letting you know the recipe I followed. Um, I'm going to use gloves <laughs> because... I didn't know this, and I was in pain last night. I have some little cuts on my hands. Oh, Becca gosh, knows where I I'm going. Did not even think. Of I that. have some little cuts on my hands, my dermatitis, and the, you know the winter it splits your hands and cracks your hands. So I was using this dough and kneading it on the table. My hands were on fire. It literally took all night for the redness to settle down. It had just oh the salt just so aggravated. Salt it. on a wound mm -hmm. is exactly what it was. So I'm going to be using some gloves today for that. I might take them off when I'm shaping my dough just because I don't want, you know, wrinkly glove looks on my dough. Um, and then to make your holes, you're going to want to do that before you bake them. Please don't forget. I've done that in the past. It's, it's sad. I'm just using a, um, disposable straw you don't want to use a reusable straw because the dough gets stuck in there and unless you have a straw cleaner you're going to have like a backup of like an inch of dough where you mm -hmm. punched out holes if you want a hole bigger I just punch it out and then kind of push my way out I'll show you all that here today during the live but I just have a couple of those um I have a a I don't know what you call a paring knife I have a knife here to cut around my dough or for some of these, I even use a wide mouth mug that I have. Or if you guys have a cookie cutter, that would be great. But if you just kind of rough cut around your salt dough ornaments and then kind of just mold them around with your hands, that does fine as well. And then I have this little fish. I think it's kind of called like a, a fish spatula. And this is in case my salt dough ornaments get stuck on my uh, table. I can just kind of scrape those off if I need to. Again, most of this is just in case or if I need it, but it's good to share with you guys that I have it. Um, again, I also have parchment paper to line my baking sheet with, which with this, there's just a little wire rack in here that we can use. Um, but yeah, but that, that's it. We could probably put parchment paper on it too, though, if we wanted probably. to. Yeah. Uh, as far as the oven, 250 for two to three hours. So since it said two to three hours, I'm like meet right in the middle. So I did two and a half hours. It worked perfectly. They didn't expand. Don't get flour with or self rising. Self -rising flour. No. Don't get that because they will puff up and expand. So honestly, they just they look exactly the same as when I put them in there. I'll show you guys these on the overhead. Yeah, the reason you don't want them to expand is because the shape will not be what it's supposed to be anymore. The little hands aren't going to be the size that they were when you did the pressing or and feed that's or whatever. The whole point that's the entire is, point. Yeah. Is to commemorate the size that your yeah. baby was, or you're not baby. If you've been doing this for years and your baby's 12 and you're forcing them to continue. Rachel, to I think do that this. you should make one with your hand and, and give it to like your mom for Christmas. It would look like a, a pizza. <laughs> 
It would look. She. It wouldn't be able. To, it wouldn't hang on her tree. Or your foot would be really fine. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to acknowledge her. My first instinct is to. Is to jest, Rebecca, in a in a non, non nice way. But I'm not gonna do that. Rude. Rude. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be easy. I'm gonna put my rings back here. Don't wear stuff if you don't want flour on it because there's going to be flour on it. Do you want an apron? Okay. No big deal. Yeah. No. I'm a professional. (laughs) Professionals wear aprons, Rachel. (laughs) Uh, But let me know how you guys are doing. I cleaned our surface, so clean your kitchen island. If you wanted to spread parchment on it, you can. I don't know. Becca can probably agree with me. If I'm making cookies or and I'm kneading any type of dough, having parchment paper down is a pain in my Oh, yeah, it moves everywhere. Pain. So I'm throwing it on the table. Just clean your table good. Rachel, your hand with Charlie's inside of it. Stacey, I tried that last night. Charlie did not like this process. And it's not like the dough was super hard or that I was just. It was just a weird new texture. Torturing him. He would ball his hand into a fist and not let me do anything. So I put my handprint down that I wanted to put Charlie's handprint inside of mine because I thought, that's adorable. No, 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 it ended up looking like a hole, like a donut inside of my hand. He'd ball up a fist and then his feet, I'm like, I wanna do feet. He'd just curl his toes in. <laughs> oh my punk. Lord, he was being a little Being a punka, as Fallon would say. He was being a punka, a punka. yes. Uh, but this is gonna be the easiest thing ever. I will show you, let's go overhead. Okay. I'll show you the ones that I baked. I ended up with five, so here's this little foot. Look at, oh my gosh. Little Look hands. Look at those. And then these are the ones that I finished. So we've got the hit like upside down. An upside down foot, which is a snowman. And then this one, which Becca is extremely proud of my handwriting. Look at that. Um, it just, I just made his little hand look like a Christmas tree. kind of kiddish oh. little Christmas tree type thing. I didn't have enough room for a star, but that would have been adorable up there. Again, I made these last night and then was um, like painting them and finishing them this morning. So I wasn't really thinking ahead about that. This is one of the ones along with this one that I used a wide mouth mug to kind of stamp out. So, and then these are the ones that I kind of imperfectly clearly used a, just a paring knife to kind of smooth down and cut out. So you can just see uh, the different things you can do. And then we'll go to a... Um, page on my laptop here later on and honestly google pinterest is the best place to get inspiration for these uh beck is going to make somewhere you can flip your hand around and have like this be santa's hat this be santa's beard so that's going to be adorable yeah uh, so there's there's just so many things you can do with these especially with different size cookie cutters if you want to do a star or a candy cane or a gingerbread man there's a lot you can do with these so we're probably going to be creating this one today because this one while it was very easy, it was a little bit time consuming, whereas this one was pretty easy to do. If you have any questions, of course, I'm happy to go over this with you. I would say be mindful of the direction you want these when you're making them as you're baking them, because this one, the hole is up here, which is perfect. It hangs, but I made this one's hole up here. So if I wanted to make another one of these, he would be upside down, kind of, if that makes sense. Is a silicone mat any better than parchment paper? Uh, April, that's a great question. I haven't used a silicone mat. Honestly, I feel like nothing's as easy as just using your work surface. It's not that big a deal to wipe it up and just continue on after you're done. Um, And the silicone mats that we have are smaller, so... They're small, We would have to use several of them. Good question. Yeah, great question. Good question. Continue to ask all your questions. That is what... um, Shirley said, wondering if they'll go bad after a while or not. So, Shirley, if you seal these, they should not. And Maria, I don't know if you saw it or not, but Maria shared that she still had some um, from when her kids were little, and they are grown now. So, that's been several many years. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, The thing is, people for centuries have been using salt to preserve things. Yeah. So, the reason why this is so popular is because all the salt in this will, will keep them. It'll keep them. The only way they will disintegrate is if you treat them poorly. Like if you put them in a wet basement all year. Or if they're too dry and they crumble crack, or you drop or if them. You're not, or if you know, storing them properly like in bubble wrap or something to protect them. Definitely seal sealing. it. Definitely yes, seal it. Definitely seal them. We're going to be using Mod Podge today. But you can even use spray, sealer. Use whatever finish you want. I'll probably be using a matte. I think that's what it is. Because this uh, acrylic paint we're using is a bit glossy. And I'm a matte girl. Same. I like matte. So if you use a chalky finish paint or something like that. Uh, but it was super easy. The key, 
The key to these looking so good are those darn paint pens that Becca bought. They are amazing. <gasps> if you don't have paint pens, guys, you need to get paint. There is not a way in the world I could have made this snowman without paint pens. I literally just ordered some for home today. Oh, I'm going to have to so take those cute. home for my kid. No. Please. No, yeah, take them home. They have to be able to use them if you're creating. So cute. It's oh so cute. Gosh. I just love. I mean, and look at all the colors. Let me bring them over. But even like the the tinsel that you did on the green one, the metallic. Yeah. It, I mean, it is so. Oh, it's gorgeous. So oh, but I all these them. are paint pens. I used mostly the thick ones. Um, and then, like, the little detail on the scarf, the little wispies. I was using these little thin ones. I mean, I would buy the pack that I linked for you guys, which has thick and thin. Yeah. But they're phenomenal. I mean, there's no way I could have done this without them. Adding the little snowflakes, the little, like, um, hooks on the tree, on the tree uh, ornaments. Yeah, there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but these they're, like, super detailed. It's, it's oh, so, so cute. cute. I love it. It looks like you literally would have to buy this, you know, but it's it was really easy. But, and you guys know I'm not a painter, and I was able to do this, so if I can, you can, for sure. It just takes time, but it's really fun. These paint pens dry really quick, too. So if you're worried about them, you know, if you're worried about taking, like, a whole day to make these, don't worry about that. It won't take you a whole day. But, yeah, these are adorable. I just use paint pens for this, too. I woke up this morning worried about how I was going to make all these little details. And I had forgot that Becca bought those paint pens. So if you want them, buy them. They're amazing. Okay. If we don't have any other questions, we'll move on to making the actual salt dough. I'm going to go run some warm water. So Becca's going to entertain you for a quick moment. I'll leave these here so you can marvel at my uh, creativity. Oh, that's good. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Um, I wasn't prepared for entertaining you. I should have joke. thought more about it. You know, I'm really bad at jokes. Oh, 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 I've got one. It's not really a joke. Dolly Parton was telling the story on Jimmy Fallon, the late show the other night. And she was talking about how that um, in Gatlinburg, they used to have this bear or bears that they would basically had in a cage and people would come and look at them. It was sort of like this area, um, a, a track type thing that was really hard to get out anyway she said that people would buy cokes and I think she said peanuts and they would come and they would you know give them to the bear and the bear would eat them and you know this happened for years and you know the bear just kept getting bigger and bigger and um one time this somebody came and had the coke bottle and they put gasoline in it gasoline to give the bear she I mean because people are mean and stupid yes, right yes. so you know the bear ate the coke and the peanuts and all that fun stuff and then it went crazy because you know bears should not have gasoline. gasoline right so it breaks out of the cage and starts running down the hill from Gatlinburg you know like toward Pigeon Forge and um then it just stopped and Jimmy Fallon says did it die and he said no it ran out of gas stop it <laughs> Stop it, <laughs> Becca! But Dolly Parton does it so much better. So go, it's on, it's on YouTube. I'm sure. Go, find it. it's so funny. That's insane, but I love it. I love it. Okay, Kat, thank you. I would like to point this out. I cannot go by without reading her comment. Yes, the pins were the best recommendation for Becca. I am publicly admitting it here, Cat. That's big of you to admit that. Um, because they are amazing. I knew you would love them. They're incredible. I love them. I'm measuring out four cups of all porpoise flour. I know I say porpoise. You know what I meant. Um, someone on TikTok, because you know TikTok, you'll get slammed if you say something wrong on TikTok. She says, um, what did she say? You guys know the vodka brand Tito's. She says Tito's. And she does it like when we say crack up. Like on purpose. Yeah, she yeah. does it on purpose. Every single video gets millions of views just because they're slamming her to say Tito's instead of Tito's. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, capitalize on that. We should just start saying crack, crack cut. cut every video. We're professional cricket <laughs> educators. We should just say crack cut just to get the views. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add our salt, which is one full cup of salt. Again, this whole entire thing was 50 cents, which is just... Yeah, good. so I don't feel so bad about using a whole exactly. cup. Exactly. Yeah. Don't use that good Himalayan stuff you got at home. No, no, no. Go use the really crappy salt from Walmart. Oh, gosh. 
That's about how much salt my run of pickles has in it. Oh. <laughs> it's not. It might be that much, actually. I can't remember. Okay, now this is almost gone. So two full batches, and you're going to need more salt, which, again, it's a whopping 50 cents. Now, again, I'm just going to go in here and kind of lightly stir it up. The salt's going to fall to the bottom because it's heavier. Um, it's heavier. Thank you, Becca Science. So I'm just going to do a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to add our water, which is a cup and a half of water. I have a big measuring cup here, but I'm going to actually use this measuring cup and a rag or a couple paper towels later to wash off our work surface. So I'm just going to measure it like this, which is probably going to make you guys cringe. Okay. It's not Here's an exact science. A cup. And a half. Now keep your water beside you because you might use more water later depending on, I mean, just like everything you're baking, not like I'm baking this. But if your dough is too dry, add water. If it's too wet, add more, you know, flour. Mm -hmm. So don't put this stuff up at home if you're using it. Just keep it out because you never know when you're going to need it. Now I'm going to use the wooden spoon that they told me to use. Again, I like that wooden spoon, Rachel. Right. Where'd you Thank get you. that? Thank you. It's Pioneer Woman. I like it a lot. I think lot. I got it in a set from Walmart forever ago. And when you start mixing it, oh, sorry, Becca. It's okay. You're going to think that it's way too wet. It's not. Just keep mixing it. Well, yeah, because there's flour hidden in the bottom Oh, there. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so what all are you all doing? I, I'm, I'm loving this. Grizel is making um, Christmas tree shaped cookies. <gasps> Grizel's yes. cookies. Christina's making over 70 etched glasses for presents oh my gosh um, i love that you're using your creativity to make the gifts though i know so like i know that all of you makers and crafters are going crazy right now trying to do last minute christmas stuff mm -hmm. so let us know what you're making yeah um i don't think i have anything else to make so i think i'm just gonna do this with my kids oh yeah you definitely need more water there that's interesting did you um did you use your mixer at home yeah, KitchenAid? No, you yeah. just did it by hand? Yep. Here in just a second, I'm just going to dump it on the um, work surface and work on it there. Because once you get it super incorporated, I mean, there's just not much you can do at this point. So I'm going to put my gloves on, roll my sleeves up, dump it on the counter. And again, this is a great life for you guys to ask any questions. We are yeah. still running our incredible sale uh, on our membership. So if you like crafting in general. I'm not even going to say if you like cricket crafting or if you like Whoops. sublimation. If you like crafting in general, you will absolutely love Oak and Lamb. We do all kinds of stuff here. All our mission is, is to inspire you to be a better crafter every single day. And d no matter how we can do that for you, that's what we want to do. So whether you, like we talked about, love sublimation or you love cricket crafting or you have a laser cutter and you want to know about that more, you want to do woodworking or just crafts like this, you know, little salt dough ornaments. We do a lot of paper crafting. We do a lot of UV resin. We've dabbled in screen printing and candle making. We kind of do it all here at Oak and Lamb. So definitely join if you haven't already. I mean, along with our community, we have a private Facebook group where that community is able to just come together and be its best self and ask questions and post your amazing projects that you have and just kind of fellowship with each other. Some members who even live close to each other have met up and done crafting things. Yes. I know Beth has met up with, I think, Stacey and Shauna because they all live relatively close. close to each other. Yeah, we're just um, bringing people together. Just, honestly, yeah. I love it. That's one thing. I mean, I love crafting, obviously, but the community, it is just the best. It really is. Um, so really quickly, we have lots of people are doing lots of things, which I knew they would be. Kat says, I'm attempting that huge charcuterie tree that Anna made last week for our family Christmas. I bought the tree foam, the foam tree, excuse me, at Michael's yesterday. Did you all see that? If not, go look at Anna's Facebook. She posted, it's absolutely gorgeous. She made an angel for the top of it out of tortellini, a tomato, and a honey o. Stop. <laughs> it's adorable. It's ridiculous. Um, Jen says, I have to make three teas and gift card holders. Oh, no. It just moved on me. Um, Beth said, just happens. finished making James's Days of the Week black t-shirts. One of them says Laundry Day. I love that. Uh, Grizel just started gifts. Grizel, there's nothing like, you know, last minute oh. gift creation. I, I love that. Um, I'm sewing pot holders, microwave potato bags, and trivets is what Renee said. 
Made two sublimation photo blankets yesterday, Jenny. I mean, uh, I could just read comment after comment. I there love are so it. many, I know. And let me tell you guys, every time Becca's saying what you all are doing, like every time you share what you all are doing, you're inspiring other people. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. so keep doing that for sure. Or reminding them they meant to do something. True. <laughs> And on top of that community that we talked about on Facebook, we have hundreds of cut files that are added to every single month from yours truly, Becca. And along with those, we give you guys a free commercial use license. So you can sell things that you make using our cut files completely free, completely legally. So if that's something you guys want to do, check it out. If you do have a Cricut and you're a beginner, we have an incredible new Cricut course. Incredible. And we just launched it on Black Friday. And if you are new to Cricut or you bought a Cricut for Black Friday or you think a Cricut might be under the tree for you in a couple days, you need that Cricut course. It's incredible. It's 22 videos. We have some incredible printable resources for you guys. And as always, you can ask us any and all questions that you want. Let us know if you're on the fence about joining and what we can do to kick you off that fence. Okay, look at my gorgeous ball of salt, though. I mean, it, it's perfection. Is right she there. not stunning? She's stunning. She's and you gorgeous. did that, and I don't even know. I didn't time it, but it was very quick. I got a little out of breath there at the end, but that's okay. So you don't have to do cardio now. It's done. <laughs> my cardio. You've worked out. I, and I wasn't even wearing my Apple Watch. Didn't even <laughs> <Yeah>. count. <laughs> okay, so salt those down. But look at this hunk. This thing's huge. And now you don't need a lot. So I'm going to have to probably take my gloves off. I'm gonna try and keep them on a little bit longer. But this is like the perfect consistency. And you guys will know when you feel it, if it's a good consistency. I mean, I could tell you. So you recommend just getting small amounts instead yeah. of doing the full amount. That oh, actually yeah. is genius. Then you could give each kid a chunk of it and let them pat it out. Just give them a chunk. What are they gonna do, you know? It's salt though. And that way it's like kind of round anyways. Yeah. How thick go. should these be so that they don't break? That's a great question. At April. least a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Great question. Oh, my sweaty hands. It's okay. You won't have to put any more water on it. <sighs> True. So once you get it kind of how you want it, I wonder if this is big enough for Fallon's hand. Probably not. Hey, Fallow, go see Rachel for a second. Come here, pumpkin. Let me see that hand. Oh, no, it needs to be bigger. Fallow's hand is bigger. She's six now, you know. She's the big six. Are you sure you're not ten? Are you ten? Okay, well, if you're sure. I don't even know if you can get up here, Fallon. Let's see. This might not be big enough for you. Let me see your hand. Oh, it might be. Let's show them. Here, step this way. Oh, no, i got to make it bigger. Sorry, Fallon. I forgot what a big girl you are. Set that to the side. There's a big girl. There's hers a big girl. Look at her. She's got her hand. She's ready. She's ready. Okay, Fallon, hang on. You can put your hand down for a minute. This is even better than the dough I made yesterday. Consistency-wise, this is better. You can see because when I'm making it, it's not cracking a lot. It's just kind of staying. So this one's not drying out as quickly. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> What's she doing? I'm, like your computer. and Sure, sure. Well, that's whatever. fine. That's fine. Well, this one's going to be better. But yeah, I mean, use a rolling pin if you want one and you have one, or you're, maybe your, your kids have one in a Play-Doh set and they want to use it, but that's really not necessary. Just using the palm of my hand, which I use clay, or used to. I used to use clay a lot, and I just prefer to do it by hand. Cat said, have Rach show the new cut files before the end of the live today. I think that's a great <gasps> okay, idea. Okay, Cat. We'll do that. I will. Yeah, uh, I posted in the private Facebook group. I'm pretty excited. We're actually going to be using several of the files that were released yesterday for lives this week. Um, so that's exciting. Okay. We're going to get her hand on here. Here, put your fingers a little closer together. That's good, Hold fella. On. What is wrong? Our switcher is just not my friend today. Is it okay? It's okay. Okay. It now, Fallon's being moment. super still. This is, oh. So much a easier dream than compared the, to yeah. Charlie. Thank you, Fallon. My pick hand up easy. Oh, it's like you've done that before. Fallow. Look that's how so beautiful. Perfect. Let me show you. Let me get it up easy. Easy, easy. Work your way around. Use your little spatula if you want to. Look, Fallow. Look at your hand. So cute. Now, when it bakes, you can probably guess. When it bakes, it has more definition to it. So it's it's not that it sinks down. I don't know how to explain it. Let me find it. Charlie's. But like, it looked the same. It's just kind of, you can see it better yeah. when it bakes a little bit. But that's adorable. Honestly, it doesn't even need to be trimmed 
unless you wanted to. I mean, you can kind of like clean up around the edges if you want to, but that's that doesn't look bad at all. If you have a big cookie cutter or something like that, use that pizza cutter, whatever. The only thing you want to make sure that you do at this point is use your, um, what is this? Straw. Wow, the word left me. Straw. And make your hole wherever you want it. Um, Beck is probably not going to use these that I'm making today. She's going to go home and make her own, so I don't think she has a preference on where I put the hole at. She's going to put it right here. Just stamp down, twist around. If you want the hole bigger, like you see that, if you want it bigger, just work it around like that. See? Make the hole bigger. Just like that. Now, I'm going to get this little, this little tray doodad. You know, this is bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it's, yeah. This is a decent size. I got at least, I think, three tumblers on it the other day. So, I'm going to put some parchment down here on it. I just brought my parchment from home. Does this thing have a ripper on it or am I just flying blind? Okay. I'm gonna cut it and fit it to our little tray here. Nothing irks me like ill-fitting parchment paper on a on something. I don't know why. <clears throat> Becca, I um wrapped all my presents for Charlie the other day. Yeah, can you come wrap my kids? Uh, anyway. I, well, I was going to say, I am rusty. He won't care. No, he won't care. But let me tell you, I I, I put, I was too big for my britches trying to wrap those presents. I've got to do that. Some people just have it. Some people don't have it. I don't have it. I'm okay at wrapping. I just, it's just not my favorite thing to do. Fallon, they're all saying hi to you and thank you for helping Rachel and that you're so beautiful and that your Stunning. Christmas pictures were really beautiful. They sure were. Um, April, this does not shrink. No, it doesn't. Good question. So I'm going to take Fallow's handprint and just place it right there. Oh, so Now we can make some more. Now, Becca, let me preheat this sucker. Okay. So I have the temp and everything set. So I just. Yep. <laughs> I'm a professional. Okay, let me see. So this one's too tiny. I don't even know what we would do with this. Let me make another one. Um, you guys need to see more. You just salt though. Done. Let's salt. make another one because I want to do. I want to cut the one. Like a like I want. Well, like I think I want. You want to come over here? Well, I'm gonna let you do it first, and then I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> How big do you want it? Uh, we'll do Valentine again. Okay. But I, in my opinion, it does dry out a little bit. In my opinion. Becca's want me to do her dirty work. I'm still going to make them at home, but yeah, I, I, I want you to do my dirty work. And if you guys see what I'm doing, I do this with ground beef. That's the only thing I can compare this to. When I have like a pound of ground beef and I'm making patties, I just trade hands Moving my palm. I'm using my palm to flatten it out, not, you know, my fingers or anything. I just go around the edges and use my palms, and I kind of trade the dough from one hand to another. Make sure to get the center. But that's that's how I make patties for burgers or um, whatever. I don't know how you guys do that, but that's the only thing I can equate it to, which is sad. This isn't even... This thing's quiet as a mouse. Is it heating up? It is. It's, I hear it's so quiet. Yeah, it has these little um, blinking light thingies next to it. If it's heating up, and then it will be blinking. Yes, Terry, this oven is not cheap. No, let me tell you though, it's it's great. If you guys want to, we can do some comparison um, content if you would like to see that on that oven. make this one a little thicker Becca okay I think that one might be a hair on the thin side and I don't want it to break and the guys since I'm using my hand to um not roll it out but pat it out the the side that she'll put her hand on is always going to be the side on the table so I'm going to pat this out and then I'll pat the other side but if I'm done I would flip it over and let her put her hand on that side since there's no 
my fingers haven't been on it or anything like that. Now, if you have a rolling pin, both sides are going to be nice and flat and smooth. Or like so. a glass pan or something. Yeah, you or could, a yeah. wine bottle. Yeah. I've used a wine bottle before taking the label off of that. Yes, Lenny's paw print would be adorable. Um, yes, you could keep the extra dough in a bowl with, like, covered, and that would help. That Yeah. Okay, you think that's big enough, Becca? I think so. I think so. Let's okay. try it, Fallon. Let's go put your hand on it. Oh, they can't hear you. That's my bad. I'm sorry. Love it. And then you're going to use that Santa hat. Yeah. Super cute. And I'll show you guys a picture of that on uh, the old Google. Yeah. Don't taste it. Don't don't taste it. Are you? Are you sure? Mm. You didn't have it on the second camera. They they didn't see what you were doing. Alan, did you draw me a picture? Oh, I can't wait to see it. Bye, guys. We're leaving the live because I want to see what Fallon drew me. Bye. Have a good day. I'm making you transfer that over there because I, I don't want to ruin it. I will not be blamed. Oh. You can use that spatula if you need to. That's adorable. Okay. <clears throat> Look at that. So it'll be this way. Yes. And then this will be like Santa's hat. That'll be like the ball of the hat yes. and everything. And that'll, that'll be, be his, his beard. beard and his face will be right here, which I'm sure is going to be. The cutest I think it's going to be adorable. Okay. So that's basically, I mean, we can fit some more stuff in here if you wanted to. Uh, I did think about using this dough. You can, like, just like a hand. See, I mean, you can even see, like, the curvature of Fowl's hand. If there was, like, I don't know, things around your house that you wanted to press into this to, to make, not a mold of, but, you know, like a mirror of that you, I don't know, like or something like that, the top of a... I don't know, on top of a beer bottle or a certain a coin you like. <laughs> who who yeah. knows? It's random things. You're more than welcome to do that. Um, but, yeah, you can add water to this if it gets super dry. But this is a really nice dough consistency. But, again, look, we, bar we barely used any of it. We barely used any of it. Yeah, I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna have the recipe just because there's two kiddos. Now, again, this ain't breaking the bank. No, so no, that's true. That's true. Do what you want to not break in the bank, but yeah. I bake them 250, two and a half hours. It smells nice in your kitchen. Whenever they're done, just bring them out, set them on a set them on a couple of pot holders or whatever and just let them let them cool down and do their thing. Marina said these go in a sublimation oven. One OMG, I've so tried hard not to buy this PYD oven. Marina, that's one thing. Like we want to be intentional about showing you what other things you can use yeah. the oven or whatever oven. You don't have to get this one. Uh, four, because one, we have to use it here. We don't have an oven here in the studio, but we want to get as much use out of these as possible. So you can use like the baking clay in it. You could use shrinky dink for in that. You can use obviously sublimation and salt dough and anything that you would put in an oven to bake crafty wise that will fit in there. Go for it. It's squishy. Do you want to go play with some? You want to follow? You can play with some. 
Here, you want the whole darn thing? Here you go. Have, have a great time. Oh, that's a great idea, Rachel. You could come sit here on Rachel's desk. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. I see how it is. Wrap that in a damp, damp paper towel, then plastic wrap, and Becca can take it home and use that. I, I what? I don't think we have any plastic wrap, though. Oh, Sally, maybe we'll, we'll play with it in a minute. That's not a great idea. Yeah. Okay, thanks. It's it kind was, of like Play-Doh. I thought it was a good idea. It's nice. It feels good. It does feel good. Yeah. My sweaty hands. I'm going to say moist. those warm hands kept it real nice. Yes. Go give it to Miss Rach, and she'll put it in the bowl. Throw it in, fellow. Tell her to make Nana a Santa. Nana wants you to make a Santa for her, too, okay? So we'll make oh, one. Said, okay. We'll make one when we get home, okay? All right. I'm just wiping down my hands. So she's cooking it, but because we don't have two and a half hours to sit here, she's already made some, and now we're going to paint them. Yay! As soon as she cleans up. Um, yes, you can buy a convection oven at Goodwill and Walmart have them for half the price. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, absolutely. I don't know. We're going to, I think we'll do some comparisons for you yeah. all. Um, okay. We had this one given to us. Okay, I think I'm going to do this one to make the cr Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Now, I bet if I tried really hard, I might could drill through this and make the hole that oh, way. Oh, that's concerning to me. Um, could you make it into a reindeer? Is this the way that those yeah. will look? Yeah, the nose goes at the heel. Let's, let's look at Google. I'm going to go <gasps> to your computer. Becca, you're right. Look. Oh, do it, Rach. Oh. Do it. He would be cute. Okay. That Santa is so, really cute too. The Santa is adorable, but honestly, look at look at Google when you're looking for these. Yeah, everyone always I asks mean, us where we get inspiration for things. It's always Google or Pinterest. Always, they're like, "Oh yeah, I forgot to do that." I'm like, "What? What? It's my go-to." It's my mind too. <laughs> but I literally, you can see, I just Google salt though, kids yeah. ornaments. I mean, but look how cute these are. Oh, look adorable. How cute. The little stocking is adorable. I know. Look at this one. So here's some different variations. Like there's a little tree. You can tell a kid did that one. Look at the mat. The mitten. In the mitten. Oh, so that's adorable. Cute. So cute. Look at these little Santas. Right. See? Yeah, that's what Fallon's is going to look like. Go back that's up. Cute. Wait, 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 wait. Where does it? Oh, um, on the bottom, like the third from the right, that elf with the handprint. Look how that's cute. That's adorable. Oh, my gosh. That's stinking I'm cute. I'm partial to the ones that are hand and foot shaped. I just cute. think they're adorable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this. Well, we'll do, we can do them both. Which one do you guys want to see? I mean, which, I don't know. I've never done the reindeer when I prepared these. The reindeer one looks easy enough. Do the reindeer. And Becca, then, I'm not asking you. But I'm I kidding. want you to I'm ask kidding. me. Well. Can you make the other hand into an elf or Santa? This one? Are you feeling, are you feeling it? I mean, you don't have to. Yeah. Let me see. I can try. The only thing is his hands are so spread out. Yeah. Which this one's kind of spread out. I could probably do that. Santa would just have like a big beard. Oh, but see these darn holes. I put the holes in the wrong spot. Well, and make the elf. Or, or do whatever you want. Let me make the reindeer and then I'll we'll see what time it is. Okay. And I'll make an elf if I can. Okay, so this one is going to have uh, brown paint for the base, which I'm going to use with a paintbrush. I like to use small, where is it? Small flat paintbrushes for details like this. Um... And then white, which I'm definitely going to use with a paint pen. And black for his eye and red for his um, reindeer nose, which not, not all reindeers have red noses, so this is clearly Rudolph. I don't know if you're still looking at my screen or if you're overhead. No, I'm overhead. Okay, perfect. So those are the ones I'm going to use for the details. I'm going to reference over there to Google quite a bit. But let me open up some paint. Let me get a piece of paper down here. I like to get cardstock and to put my paint on cardstock. And these Masters Touch acrylic paints, I think I linked those the correct brand down below. I actually really like these. They're nice and thick. I never had to use uh, two coats. Even with this black on blue, I never had to use two coats, which is great. So I'm going to take this and just outline our little foot here. Yeah, the benefit of it, like everything being white, is that you have a really great 
surface to start with. You don't have to prime anything. You're not like. And but these are good. Honestly, these are decent. They're paints. good, thick, pigmented, They're and good, so are the pans. Paints. They're really good and pigmented. Um. You too, Maria. Have a good day. Um. Da -dum -da -dum -da 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 -da. <clears throat> right, just tell us yes. about your holiday traditions. Oh gosh, do we have any? Holidays? Do you have any? I'll start do with mine while you think. Okay, yeah. One thing that I've just started doing the last, we started doing it in the pandemic with the kids is that we like to just get in the car in our pajamas. Generally, I'm in a robe. It's actually kind of humiliating. That sounds phenomenal. Yeah. If you get pulled over, that would be hilarious. It, it would be. Um, anyway, we grab a milkshake. And just drive around and look for Christmas lights. And, I like, we absolutely love it. Listen to the Christmas music. Have you done it this year? Yes, we've done it. Tell me where you went. Me and James drove 20 minutes both ways yeah. in Morgantown, found nothing. Seven Oaks has good ones. Seven Oaks. Yeah, but really Knoxville is where we need to go. I haven't been there yet. But I have a friend who uh, posted where she went in Knoxville, and there's some really incredible ones. Anyway, so we like to do that. Like neighborhoods? Yes. Really incredible neighborhoods? Okay. Knoxville is far away. Fallon's complaining. She doesn't want to go to Knoxville. Um, anyway, so that's probably one of my favorite traditions that we've started. Other than that, like, it's hard to have traditions because Wayne works constantly. He's worked six-day weeks for the last month. Um, but then we go to mom and dad's on Christmas Eve. All my brothers and sisters, which my brother's not coming this year because he's Who? a friend. Why? His wife's his wife and children are in the Philippines, and for some reason he thought he would make other plans. I don't know. It's offensive. I hope he's watching. Um, I hope he's watching. <laughs> anyway, so we'll go to Mama's, um, and then Sunday we just chill out. Last Sunday we went to Anna's in-laws, or last Christmas we went to Anna's in-laws, um, so that was fun. I don't know. We don't really ever have Sunday definite plans, but you don't remember it, Fallon? We didn't go to Sis's. We went to Koya's. I know. What can you tell them? What your favorite thing to do at Christmas is? What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Um. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Jesus. Jesus is your favorite thing about Christmas. It's his birthday. On Christmas. Literally, every mother's dream for their kid to say that. I have to be honest. I was sitting here thinking, God, I hope she doesn't say presents. She. Mama, you've peaked. I don't know if you know this, but you've peaked. Uh, she said Jesus. She did. Could you have hoped and prayed for a better response to that question? You did it. You've peaked as a mother. You need to write books. Last Everyone, year, I asked Beckett Becca. what Christmas was about. You asked Beckett? Yeah, and he, he said, I don't know, just some random something. And I said, well, whose birthday is it? And he said, Santa's. And I was like, oh, I have failed. Oh. He got it this year, though, so. Well, you know, so you love Christmas because it's a celebration of Jesus and Jesus's birthday. Oh, right? you peaked. Mm -hmm. um, she needs to get some candy. For and that why do we get presents? Do you know why we get presents? No. I think I could be wrong. I think it's a representation of the gifts that Jesus received on his birthday that the three wise men brought him. Do you remember what they brought him? Um, gold, frankincense, and more. Uh huh. Yeah. And I think gift giving is just to kind of mirror that. Um, yeah? Yeah. yeah. What, what would a baby do with gold, frankincense, and myrrh? I don't know. Me either. I think they used it because it was good. I wonder what they did with it, honestly. I mean, obviously, it's expensive stuff. They probably used it in their journey and staying where they were and all that fun stuff. But I don't know. Does it say somewhere in the Bible? I feel really ridiculous. Does it say somewhere in the Bible what, what it's did? Useful? Yeah, what oh. what they ended up doing with it? I don't know. Or maybe because God gave us the best gift is what Nana says. I don't think so. Uh oh. No, I do think he. I. I that oh. was terrible <laughs> word placement. I do think he gave the best gift. Yes. You sure? I mean, you seem to not feel that way. <laughs> We okay. always used to make a Jesus a birthday cake on Christmas. Renee said, yes, I love when people do that. Oh, okay. I'm copying what Google has, which is that there's like 
white space in between the toes. Does, is, does that look good or no? No, I would leave that. Yeah. You would leave it like this? Yes. Okay. Becca has spoken. Uh, Becca, what did I do without you for like an hour and a half this morning? I was just making all these mm -hmm. calls by myself. But I didn't have it. It turned out really well. It's Charlie's foot. Oh. Isn't it adorable? It's my foot, Fallon. It's my foot. Is your foot? That's my foot. No, that's baby Charlie's foot. Mama wouldn't lie to you. I wish my feet were that small. I'm going to use the heat gun just a little bit. It doesn't look like it because baby Charlie's foot is that big. I'm going to do Santa on a hand. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. Oh, my gosh, it's 11.23. That's okay. I forgot. I didn't even look at the time. So the really cool thing about the paint pens, and I don't know what the dry time is on the Master Touch acrylic paints, but um, it's like one-minute dry time for those paint pens. We talked about it a little bit with the wood, and I honestly thought that maybe it was just because the wood and the MDF that I was using it on was so absorbent that it helped it dry really quick. But then I looked it up, and the dry time is just – it's one minute. Really quick. Love it. What do you need? Um, I was wondering if I want to make the eyes with the paint. I might have to do two passes since this is such a dark color. Yeah. I might have to do two coats of my eyes. They're, they look just like um, ovals. Yeah. Again, I, I just keep referencing Google. Oh, you can't see this good. Sorry, guys. Oh, no. <gasps> Darn it. Oh, no. What's the matter? There's Rachel been a casualty. Who on her ornament over there? Not not poo. We used to go watch the newest movie at the theaters, but everything is way too expensive. Over $100 to get my family in to see a movie. Um, when we were Ugh. kids, we would always go. Over $100 to get my family in to see a movie. Um, when we were Ugh. kids, we would always go to Perkins for breakfast, and then we would go see a movie on Christmas Day, too. Perkins? You went to Perkins? Rachel, at the time, Perkins and Huddle House were the only things open on Christmas Day. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Um. I worked at the movie theater in 2005. I love when Becca talks about her movie theater days. And it was the, bu Christmas is the busiest day at the movie theater. Busiest of the day year? Of the, year, of the year. It's insane. Um, Grizel loved Perkins. They used to have an Eggs Benedict that my mom absolutely loved. And then I think the last year that we went, um, they didn't have it anymore. And then the next year we went, and they weren't even open on Christmas Day. Are you ruining my paint pen? No. See? I know how to treat a paint pen. I told you that I was going to have to do two <laughs> coats of this thing. Let me see about his little red nose. It looks like it's hard. It is hard. Those were, those were cooked. Rachel cooked those at home. It looks like it could be a what? hammer well i think it looks like I've a reindeer failed then. it's a hammer it's like a reindeer exactly what it looks oh you could hammer something with it no i don't think so i think it would break it cajun eggs benedict yes i've never becca i would love eggs benedict wouldn't i <laughs> you oh you would absolutely you would love it I can't believe you haven't had it. I've never had it. Oh, we'll go get some together. Mom said I can still smell your rancid butter pop or popcorn vest. Yeah, that vest was. And here's the thing. When I worked there, they made, when you started out, they made you wear a white button-up long sleeve shirt. So, like, almost instantly it's disgusting and covered in butter and Oh, it's so gross. I used to, like, try to get undressed in my car and not even bring it inside. It was disgusting. When James worked at um, Subway, oh. he smelled like Subway bread every time he would come home. That bread smells so good, though, right? I liked it. He was like, I'm going to get this off me. I'm like, no, 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 come here. <laughs> Let me lick you. Like, come, come here. <laughs> Italian urban cheese. That's so funny. They added a new bread. What did they add? Um, What's that, like, crunchy like a French loaf type of bread. Ew. That you could put your sandwich on. 
That's disgusting. Well, these aren't the prettiest eyes ever, but I gotta add pupils to them here in a bit. This also isn't a super viber. Oh, it'd be cute. You know what you guys could do with these two? Is do like Mod Podge and glitter. Glitter something on here. Yeah, I don't think we'll have time to do a Santa, but Beckle will post some pictures in the Facebook group. How about that? Oh, absolutely. And if you all have already made salt dough ornaments or you're making them this year, we definitely want to see it. Make sure you post it in the private Facebook group. That's part of what the group is about so that we can be inspired and you can show off your crafts to people who understand all the hard work you put into it. There's nothing. It's so frustrating. It's actually really funny. Um, I've been doing some... I do some graphic design work here and there for people. And um, it's always like, oh, it's going to be really easy. It's really simple. I'm like, if it were really easy and really simple, then why don't you do it? They say that because they don't understand they have what no goes idea. into designing. And it's the same thing with crafting. They have no idea. That's why it's important to have a community that knows how. I agree. Like if you, because I've said it before, if you like make a glitter or tumbler or something and you send a picture to your aunt or your cousin, like, oh, that's cool. Like that, yeah, it's cool. And we're not crafting for recognition. That's not what crafting is about sometimes. But sometimes you want people to be like, man, I bet that took you forever. Look at the detail on that. That's incredible. I could never I do that. You, you just want the community that understands yes. what it's about. Yeah. And Oak and Lamb, we, we do that here. Scott said the golden buttery like topping. We were told not to call it butter. Yeah, no, it's butter flavored oil. It's not butter. It's uh, and so if I go to the movie theater with someone and like we're sharing popcorn, if they get butter, I get my own. I can't. I cannot do it. You can't do the no, butter will, flavored topping. I will not put butter on my popcorn. Really, I do. It's just oil. Sometimes I make James go put more butter on my popcorn when I get down to the first layer. No, when I used to, people would say, I want extra butter. And I would do a scoop of popcorn, then then butter. A scoop of popcorn, then butter. A scoop of popcorn, then butter. Because that's the thing. It only gets to the top. It doesn't get all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Which now they just hand it to you and you have to put your own butter on. Yeah. So you have to like fashion some sort of weird straw into the bottom of it. It's ridiculous. Or, yeah. um, Fallon is very impressed with your adorable reindeer. Oh, good. She I just... need to put Charlie's name on it again. Should I? Somewhere yes, absolutely. The In the year, for sure. Okay. Also, I want to see you do this. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks so much. I'm going to shake up my paint pen. Let me make sure this is nice and dry. Okay. Oh, this is not the one I used. I want to get the one I used. I want to open another one. Here we go. The snowman's my, I mean, it took me a while, but the snowman's my favorite too, Heather. It's my fave. It's adorable. I should have, if I, if I had life to do over, I would have painted the outside of this green, but it, excuse me, it would have been super, super hard to get in between those crevices green. Not with so those might, paint pens. Oh, God. I think it's cute like that, though, Rach. It's pretty cute. You like the snowman and the reindeer? Yes. I love Charlie's baby hand. Oh, my gosh. It's the cutest thing ever. That Yeah, she did that last night. Charlie didn't love it. He kept balling his fists up and curling his toes. He didn't like the way it felt. Rachel, I am so impressed. Thank you. What is this? It's like a new, like, who are you? I, I could have made that much bigger. Anyways. It looks so good. I hate that when the paint gets on something porous, it splatters. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but that's one thing I don't love about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to put Charlie's. I'll put Charlie on the back of Did you one. hear that? What's she say? Rachel, you're a great writer. <gasps> Thank you, Fallon. I'm not going to make this one look super pretty. How can we add some bling? Will rhinestones melt in the oven? Right, uh, April, uh, I'd say rhinestones are plastic. So I would think. I would add them with like a clear glue now. After, yeah. Add them with clear glue. That's what I would do. Because we're also, I'll go ahead and seal th probably the snowman. Actually, I'm nervous to seal this one with Mod Podge because so many colors. I might spray this one. Yeah. What do we think? I don't know. I think because it, it's dry, it'll be fine. Okay. 
I mean, but do if I ruin this thing, follow, I will cry. No, 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 no. I was gonna say, follow your gut. <laughs> I might spray him, but yeah. I'll I'll go ahead and put Mod Podge on this one to see how that goes. Um, Amy said, so now I need the paint pens. I had convinced myself I didn't need them. I, uh, like, you need them. There aren't a there's not a lot of things that I'm like I'm I'm normally like you know do it do what you want to do do what's good for you. Um. I don't know anybody who wouldn't like them though. Is that one um, smearing or nope. blending at all? Nope. She's sealing it. And this, good good question, Fowl. It looks white like school glue. It'll dry clear. So it's just going to seal in all that paint so that in 15 years we can look back on Charlie's perfectly preserved little nine-month handprint. Did you get his pointer finger again? Uh, uh. Um, yes, Kat. A Amy said, or she said, Amy, definitely, especially with the new laser coming. If you have a laser cutter and you're going to be painting things at all, it it's just a game changer. We've used really the crap is. out of these. It's a game changer. And we're not finding ways to use them. We just happen to be making a project that they're, like, incredible Perfect with. for, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and do this one since that one went so well. Marina said she's talking about the issue with people not understanding all the time and energy. Yeah. She said, I'm going through that this year. I was thrilled to make personalized gifts, and I'm somewhat disappointed by the reactions. At least I took the time to really think about the person and the gift. So yeah. my other thing is my husband and my brother-in-law are not reactors, like which which is good because Anne and I are. like We need that in our lives. But when we give a gift, like we're so excited about it, and we really want like – we want a good reaction. And so when they don't, it's like a big womp womp. <laughs> like, Even though in their head, they could be like, that was incredibly thoughtful. They just don't express it like Anna that. got Mark a massive big screen TV one Christmas, right? So she brings it over to our house. They did Christmas morning. And she brought it over to our house so that he wouldn't suspect, like he thought Christmas was over. Then he sent, she sends them on a um, scavenger hunt thinking that it was for Beckett, right? So he goes to the end of scavenger hunt and there's a huge big screen TV for him. And he said nothing, not one word. He like, he was like, Oh yeah. It's cool. Mark. It's cool. And me and Anna were like, doing? you have got to be kidding me. Meanwhile, Beckett like will jump up and down and kiss your face. If you bring him a rock. Um, <laughs> so we've taught him well. <laughs> yes. Beckett knows. Beckett knows. Christmas Eve, and, and all I remember, on the next day, I remember Sis and Marky coming over to our house, and we watched our Encanto. Encanto? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what she remembers. It was a different year. Beck says that's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, guys, look at that. I mean, so cute. I cannot wait to make these with the kids. They're adorable. They're easy. I'm excited for when Charlie's old enough to paint his own. That'll be cute. I've got to go and get some really cute paints. Paints? These paints, there's a ton of these paint colors. They're, they're good paints. I want, I can't decide. The, that one um, post that I showed you that had like the vintagey colors. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it is so cute. I love them. Anyway, what do you all think? I keep going to the wrong camera. What is wrong with me today? I don't know. I need to quit. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know yeah. if you're going to make these with your kiddos or if you're going to use some cookie cutters and make them yourself. You can do whatever you want to do with these. Use your dog paws. Do dog paws in these. That would be really cute as well. Thanks, ladies and gents. Thank you all. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern, is our Christmas party extravaganza get-together. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to be uh, eating and playing games and making crafts and talking with you guys and laughing with you guys. Uh, so be there for sure. Be there. Um, 
And we're coming up on the end of the year, which means we're coming up on the end of our sales. So if you're not already a member of Oak and Lamb, you want to be a member. Again, we have hundreds of cut files, incredible free member-only resources, courses free to all members, uh, commercial use licensing, exclusive Facebook groups, and so much more when you become a member. It's an incredible place to be. You can get $45 off your yearly membership with us using the code JINGLE at checkout. Also, a sale that we're doing now that we've never done and never will do until next year is grandfather you guys into that price. So not only will you get $45 off this first year, but you will get $45 off of every consecutive year you stay here with us at Oak and Lamb. So if for some reason in five years when we have just a million members and maybe we up our price or something crazy, still get $45 off, which is incredible. That is almost the best deal that we've ever ran. And that was to our first couple hundred founding flock members when we launched last year. That's it. I think it was like five more dollars that yeah. they get off. Yeah. But this is an incredible deal. Definitely grab it if you haven't. Uh, click the link down below. Becca has pasted the link in the comments as well. Uh, there's so much in there for Cricut beginners or just any type of crackers. That Cricut course is incredible if you are a Cricut beginner. They want to see the new cut files. <gasps> yes. Oh, my gosh. Let me get over there. <sighs> Let me get to the cut files. And we will show you the cut files. Miss Stiller said, what? 45. Oh, jingle. I'm in, boo. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love you I already. I love it. <laughs> you guys are incredible. Also, if you didn't know, you can go over here to oakandlam.com and look at all the cut files. Yeah. If you're kind of curious on what you see. Now, all you'll get is FOMO. You'll just get fear of missing out on these cut files and join quicker. And if that's what you want to do, that is fine. But here are some new cute little cut files Becca's actually going to be making. Or I am. I, someone. Someone's making it. An incredibly easy and cute little gift card holder this week. Uh, we have, uh, oh my gosh, look at this wiener dog. Look at it. It has a bandana. Stop. <laughs> These are really fun things that you can make thank yous for your FedEx drivers. Which There's we're doing tomorrow in the private Facebook group. It's a member Ooh. only project. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. This winter wreath is adorable. That's too stinking cute. This little reindeer with a candy cane Becca used on a uh, scratch paper live last week. If you yeah. haven't seen that, guys, it's a really, really cute, uh, cute project. So look, she has one for UPS for, you know, Deliver generic, generic delivery yeah. trucks, USPS. Uh, now, I think we're going to... I'm going to be filming uh, that. Filming a video with this. Becca will be using, drum roll please, every single adaptive tool to create a beautiful uh, project. Yeah. That's going to be great. You guys are going to see that this week. We have Santa Claus, literally the cutest little Santa Claus he's ever. Brown. He, he's brown. He's <laughs> brown. Becca, he's brown. I love brown Santa for obvious reasons, but um, obviously if you wanted different colors, if you wanted him to be Asian or white or whatever, he's an SVG. He's change the SVG. colors. Yeah. Change the colors. Uh, also, Becca, I have loved that I've been seeing a lot more brown Santas. This so year. many. I like love so that. many. I think they Old Navy so was cute. one of the first ones to jump on it for clothing and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Lots of companies. And my kiddos, I mean, they love it every time That's they right. see it. They just. Target had the cutest yes. little cartoon wrapping paper with little brown Santas Ooh, on it. Really? So cute. Yes. They had the yes. cookie jar and then the little cut yeah. things that I got. So cute. I remember what my friend Amber did. But I love it. it. Super cute. I yeah. love it. I love all that. So, and then some other ones that you can see here, some snowflakes. We have our Oak and Lamb Christmas logo that's on my shirt. Some other little Christmas cut files that we have here. Look at this. Mama Claus. How cute. Yeah, and for those of you, uh, Marina asked a great question. Will our projects that we make on the Glowforge work on other lasers, like the X-Tool or the Ohm Tech or any of those? Yes, absolutely. These are SVG yeah. files. They, um, that's my favorite file to use for laser cutters. Um, so it will work on, on basically anything. Now, if you guys are new and you are not already members and you want to check out different categories, you can click categories. Look at all these amazing categories. You know, let's just go to animal. Yeah, I just added that one yesterday. I'm going to be adding more subcategories for you all. But um, look, look. Yeah. There's a little wiener dog. You can see some little patterns, a little lamy or dinosaur. You can just go through here and see all the animal cut files that we have, which, Becca, thanks for adding that as a category. It's yeah. a great category. Yeah. But, yeah, you can just – easily see what we have and our search bar we have we have tried as hard as we could to make our search really optimized and really easy to use um so yeah 
joined if you haven't already we would absolutely love for you to become a member of our flock today it's a great time to join just in time for christmas just in time for christmas let me know if you guys have any more questions about anything let me know let me know these were super easy to make these are going to make amazing gifts as well and if you guys are anything like most of the world and money's tight this time of year, this is something that probably will be more meaningful than any, anything you could purchase. Less than $5, way less than $5, probably like $3 to make several dozen of these and paint them, get your paint pens, use paints that you have at your house. And these are incredible little keepsakes you can give to people. Um... It's a great idea. It's a great idea that doesn't break the bank, especially when uh, times are tough this holiday season. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if I do the $45 off, I don't pay again until the end of 2023, right? That's correct, Terry. But actually, if I'm not mistaken, you actually had a – did you not win a free membership? Was I think that's what – I'm trying to remember. Wasn't it you who won the free membership to begin with? So, what, what happened is – um, it would extend to the end of yours. So you, I, I don't know what it is. We'll say that your membership is through May of next year. Yeah. Then your first payment would not be until May. Yeah. 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 Um, so I actually, yours would be a little bit different. If you went and purchased it right now, it would charge you immediately. So email me if you do want us to extend it that way. Email me, uh, let me know, and I'll do some fun stuff on the back end so that you are not charged until the end of your current year, if that makes sense. If you're a member and you want that to happen, yeah. email us and let us yeah. know. Uh, unless you're a founding flock member. If you are a founding flock member, like I mentioned earlier, you have the best deal better than this deal. So if you know that you're a founding flock member, you don't have to extend. You're good. You're good. How long do they bake for, Christina? They bake for two and a half hours. Don't let that scare you. It's really not a long, super long time. Just let them chill out in your oven one evening or whatever. So two and a half hours on 250. 250. Get them out. Use Mod Podge. Use glitter. Use paint. Use pom poms. Uh, use everything. Use everything that you want. Everything Helen you said want. glitter. <laughs> glitter. So, Rach and Becca, what's the weather like there in East Tennessee? It's 21 degrees right now in Missouri, and that is not including the wind chill. So, Katie, sweet Katie. 36. Right now no, it's 36. Something. It's going to be rough in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. the, the high is like 20. The lows are like. No, but like Thursday or Friday, the high is like zero. The high? I'm, yeah, I think. If I'm, hold on. Yikes. Maybe that changed. Um, with wind chill. Or like, you know, like the feels like number, it's probably going to be in the negative. Oh, honestly. you're right. It's 21. I, I read somewhere that it was going to be in the negative. Yeah, the negative uh, with the windshield. I'm not looking forward to that. Or my poor little heating and air unit. Does anyone feel bad for your heating and air units that run constantly? Because at that low of a degree, there's literally no way that it's not constantly running. Because you got to think, tw if you want it like 60 degrees in your house, 60 is low. And it's 20 degrees outside, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's literally keeping your house 40 degrees hotter than it is outside. I mean, it's overworked. I know that these heating and air people are going to be on their toes this season. You like how I counted on my fingers there? Homeschooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're going to be in the negatives for 48 hours. Rocky Top Hearts, that's horrible. Our high on Thursday is negative 13. Megan, no. Ms. Stiller, all oh, flock, not a founder, but I found y'all. Yes. Hello. We love people that find us. Welcome. Whether you're an old friend who knew us from a company before or you're brand spanking new to us, we want to welcome you here. Yes, if absolutely. If you're super, super new, I'm Rachel. That's Becca. Uh, Becca's kids, Fallon and Beckett, are here. They're the cutest kids in the world. And we're here to make you a super confident crafter. What? Yeah, oh, oh, sorry. Fallon wanted me to specify that they're out for two weeks. She went like this. They're out for She's two giving weeks. you cues. She's giving me cues. <laughs> sorry, Fallon, I wasn't following them that great. I'll do better next time. But, guys, I'm going to get out of here and uh, wash these um, paintbrushes so I don't ruin them. I hope you all have a phenomenal day. If you are a flock member, you will see us tomorrow at 1030 a.m. Eastern over on the private Facebook group where Becca is going to be creating what again? We're just going to be talking about um, some gifts to give your delivery drivers. So cute. Yeah. So cute. 
so sweet. So, so. We'll giving. make a little sign so using giving. our new files. So yeah. So be there. It's a great place to hang out, great place to be, uh, to fellowship with that amazing flock community. Join if you haven't already. Feel free to email us anytime at hello at oakenlamb.com if you have any questions about membership, anything you'd like answered that we didn't answer during the live. We're always here for you guys. But thank you so much. It takes absolutely no time, no money at all for you guys to click like and to subscribe down below to the channel. We are growing at an incredible rate, honestly, Every single day, Becca and I are just completely humbled and amazed at the amazing subscribers we're getting over the holiday season. We are so thankful for each and every one of you. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Ring the bell to get notified when we go live, when we post amazing uh, pre-recorded content. So you'll see a pre-recorded video tomorrow at 8 a.m. And we will see our flock in the private Facebook group. Becca, anything else? I don't think so. Bye. <laughs>